Hello, welcome to the Moment in Christ channel. May the peace of God be with you and your family and friends. Today we will be sharing two biblical passages, Corinthians 2 and 3, but first leave your prayer request. That we will include your name in our daily prayer book, subscribe to our channel and leave your like, so you help the channel to share the word of God. Corinthians 2 And I, brethren, when I came to you, proclaiming to you the testimony of God, did not come with excellency of words or of wisdom. For I purposed to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I was with you in weakness, and in fear, and in great trembling. And my word, and my preaching, were not in persuasive words of human wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. That your faith might not rest on the wisdom of men, but on the power of God. Yet we speak wisdom among the perfect, but not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world, who come to nothing. But we speak the wisdom of God, hidden in mystery, which God ordained before the ages for our glory. Which none of the princes of this world knew, for if they knew it, they would never crucify the Lord of glory. But as it is written, the things which eye has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man, are the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God revealed them to us by his Spirit, for the Spirit penetrates all things, even the depths of God. For which of men knows the things of man, but the spirit of man, which is in him? So also no one knows the things of God, except the Spirit of God. But we have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit that is from God, that we might know what is freely given to us by God. Which we also speak, not in words which human wisdom teaches, but in such words as the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Now the natural man does not understand the things of the Spirit of God, because they seem to him to be folly, and he cannot understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. But what is spiritual discerns everything well, and he is discerned from no one. Corinthians 3 And I, brethren, could not speak to you as to spiritual people, but as to carnal, as to babes in Christ. I fed you with milk, and not with meat, for you were not yet able, nor even now are you able. Because ye are still carnal, for when there is among you envying, strife, and divisions, are ye not carnal, and walk after men? For, saying one, I am of Paul, and another, I of Apollo, are you not carnal? For who is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers through whom ye believed, and according to what the Lord hath given to each one? I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. Therefore, neither he who plants is anything, nor he who waters, but God, who gives the growth. Now he who plants and he who waters are one, but each one will receive his reward according to his work. Because we are co-workers with God, you are God's field and God's building. According to the grace of God which was given to me, as a wise architect I laid the foundation, and another builds on it, but let each one see how he builds on it. For no other foundation can any one lay than that which is already laid, which is Jesus Christ. And if anyone builds a building on this foundation of gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each will be made manifest, indeed the day will declare it, because by fire it will be discovered, and the fire will prove what each one's work is. If the work that someone has built in that part remains, he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss but such a one shall be saved, yet as by fire. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If anyone destroys the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God, which you are, is holy. Let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this world, let him become a fool to be wise. 
For the wisdom of this world is foolishness before God, for it is written, He catches the wise in their own cunning. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, which are vain. Therefore, let no man boast in men, because everything is yours. Be it Paul, or Apollos, or Cephas, or the world, or life, or death, or the present, or the future, everything is yours. And ye of Christ, and Christ of God. Subscribe to our channel and leave your like.